Zap. It's a space gun. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Rooski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is from space. The space guns. Kind of supposed to go zap, zap, but whatever. Space guns. Cool stuff. Today, we were talking about space guns because we were talking about Nickel Brooks Zap. Sour IPA and zap is a sound that usually comes from space and sci-fi because yeah cool science space aliens zap Let's do this zap by Nickelbrook Brewing Company sour IPA coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume and 28 IBUs So very low for an IPA, but kind of high for a sour mix the two together. You got a sour IPA and here's the can Blue black red ray gun on the front space gun that goes zap very very cool really nice looking can indeed but i'm not just not it's just not all about the can you know sometimes you got to figure out what's inside and that's usually what we do don't know why i said that let's do it up let's see what this bad boy's all about he's going to come th that's a big bubble Boop. perfect rickards pint glass because why because i don't have a nickel brook glass nickel brook if you're watching please send me a glass i think that'd be really cool or i'll just come down and buy one either one either way who cares let's pour it up let's see what we got here sour ipa now, i think i've had a sour ipa in the past i don't think i've had yeah i don't think i've had one in a while though so i'm kind of excited looking at the beer oh i'm a little sore uh very very pale pale yellow Decently hazy though. Can't really see through it at all. Very very nice. Big white head on top looking pretty in this glass. Damn straight. So smell. Ooh, that's actually ooh, that's actually a really nice aroma. Grapefruit, pine, citrusy, lemon lime citrusy. And then right in the back and you get that traditional sour beer smell. I don't really know how to describe it other than sour beer smell. If you smelt a sour before, you kind of know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it is... Ooh, what's the closest way to kind of put it to a non-beer sour smell? Um, well, I say take all the concentrated little like sour sugary things that you find on candy, have that in a bag and then smell that. But yeah, take a bag of candy with all the soury stuff and smell that. That is your sour smell. Or just smell sour candy and totally forget about the sweetness to it. That is what sour beer sour smells like. Stop. Yeah? Yeah. But yeah. Green, uh, not grainy. Grapefruit, pine, uh, hoppiness, hoppy goodness. Lemon, lime. More heavy on the lime, I want to say. Citrus note. And then your sour note. Pretty straightforward. Let's have a sip. Wow. 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 Okay. Where do I start? Starting in very hoppy, very pine, citrusy, uh, grapefruity, but, and then an intense bitterness there. But then the sour comes in very strong as well. And both IPAs in the bitterness department are, it's a very strong note. Sour well and a sour beer is also a very strong note. So two big, more sharp tastes are coming together to one, and it's it's like a it's like a car crash. It's like a car crash with a lot of sparks and a lot of noise and a lot of wow, that's really cool. All of that with these two big heavy hitting flavor profiles. And then citrus. Very nice. We're gonna know more. We're gonna learn more. We're gonna dive into this car crash and see what's going on. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Okay, so sour comes in aggressive right in the beginning. Big sour note, a very, very sour beer. And then here comes the IPA hoppy bitterness, <clears throat> sort of T-boning the sour in here and just 
making for a split second almost a mess because they're very they're like two of the same intensity flavors but then somehow the, the the sourness sort of rounds everything out it cuts through the bitterness of the ipa side of things and 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 sort of molds it into and it helps with the, like the the sweetness of it as well there is a really nice sweetness to this in the end moving into a little bit of mango slight melon in in like in like the the the, the mid and to the end finish <clears throat> those sweetness flavors do pop up a little bit and sort of cut out the ipa hoppy bitterness but then leaves the the sourness to sort of overtake everything the sourness definitely dominates in this but you do get a very big strong sense of hoppy bitterness coming in right after the initial right after the beer initially like coats your coats your taste buds and coats your tongue kind of how it's going the sourness is definitely winning out but the IPA portion is still there, still a great contender. There's a little bit of a mess <laughs> for a split second, excuse me, but it all works out in the end. Like I said, it's a beautiful car crash. It looks pretty crazy. Sparks and smoke and noise and all that fun stuff, but then you're like, oh, that's kind of cool looking. Car crashes are not fun. Just don't get me wrong, they're not fun. But you know, you're looking at a picture, you're like, oh, that's cool, it's interesting. As long as everybody's okay. But yeah, kind of how kind of how my brain sort of processing the beer in my mind. It's damn good. It's definitely zapping my taste buds off, which zaps a very big zap. You know, it, it comes on aggressive. So does this. Very beautiful though. Very very delightful beer. Moving over to the can, Micklebrook Brewing Company Zap Sour IPA. Like I said, 5.5 percent alcohol by volume, 28 IBUs. Description. Like a ray gun blast, our sour IPA zaps your tongue with flavor. An electrifying combo of two favorite styles, Zap blends the punchy citrus hops of an IPA with the lemony tang of a sour, making this brew the best of both worlds. Get charged up with a Zap sour IPA. Down to a science. Zap Sour IPA, like I said, 28 IBUs, 5.5% ABV. We all know that. I've said it a thousand times already. It's actually been three, but that's okay. Brewer's Elements is what we want to know. Malts, hops, and yeast. Malts are Pilsner, Wheat, Flaked Oats, and Golden Promise. The hops are Cascade, Simcoe, and Citra. And the yeast is a California Ale Yeast. Also contains wheat and barley. So anybody with an allergy or just can't have it, there you go. Now you know. Should have known before. Kind of how beer is made. Every kind of beer. On the bottom for a brew on date, packaged on the 4th of, uh, no, sorry, April 4th, no, what the hell am I saying? April 6th, 2019. So it's a little bit older, but not bad at all. Still very, very fresh. Still tastes great. Tastes how it should. As far as I know, I don't see anything that's out of the ordinary. I'm a happy guy. Damn, that is actually really good is not it, it sours for me give sort of like a sticky gummy saliva esque i don't know why it's just how the sourness goes with with, uh, with with you know my anatomy i guess this doesn't do that that much the ipa sort of helps it along makes it a bit more smoother uh get, gets everything a little less sticky a little less candied like um it's it's just a great addition and it balances everything out really really well the, the sour comes on strong but then dies out a bit and isn't as aggressive throughout the whole beer, opening up the path to, like I said, a little bit of mango, a little bit of cool melons, not cool melons, <sighs> sweet melon is what I'm trying to say. And uh, and yeah, it's just, it's a good time. It's a, it's a damn thirst quencher, that's for sure. Great for a hot day. Gonna have a fun time. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Now moving over to the website, nickelbrook.com. You go over to the beer section and you scroll down a little bit and you can't find it for some reason. The beer is not on the beer section. That's what I've noticed with Nickelbrook. They kind of lack on adding beers to their beer page. Um, it takes a bit of time. I know they've done a revamping of their website, but still I'm finding that issue, which is kind of a bummer. But thankfully, going over to the store side of things, the online store, you have it here. And when you get here, you can see the price, which is $3.05 off the online store. At the LCBO, though, 
345 for the same 473 ml tall boy can but back to the uh, store website it does give you the same oh no different slightly different slightly different description reading an electrifying combo for two favorite styles zap blends the punchy hop notes of an ipa with the sharp tang of of a sour making this brew the best of both worlds pouring an enticing hue of sunlight zap hits the nose with notes of citrus tangy tangerine and light floral overtones take a sip and be struck by a lemon zing quickly followed by juicy hop goodness and a touch of pine a silver medal winner at the 2019 canadian brewing awards zap is already proven to be an absolute stunner of a beer get charged up with a zap then it leaves the ABV, IBUs, size of the can, and also recommend a glassware, which is a nonic pint. Also a very carbonated beer. I'm burping and feeling feeling a little bloated. Bro, for all damn damn delicious. I also find it interesting, but also I have a reason for why it's probably like this. 305 through the online store, 345 at the LCBO. 40 more cents. At the LC, why do you think that might be? I'm guessing because delivery costs, possibly, and LCBO mar markups, probably. It's 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 government owned. You're always gonna get fucked by the government, right, guys? But yeah, if you want it at the brewery, go over the brewery, save your forty cents. If you're at if you're there there at the brewery, if you're doing uh, online sales, then probably not gonna make a huge difference because of shipping costs and whatnot. But hey, to each their own. I've got this at the LCBO because it was there. And I didn't know when I was going to make it down the brew. I still have to go make a visit. That's one thing I got to do this summer. But pricing is done. The beer is almost done, which means we'll go to Untapped. And Untapped is showing Zap Sour IPA coming in at 3.71 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of just over 900 ratings. So a good amount of people have enjoyed the beer. People, good, people, good amount of people have scored this beer pretty well as well. So that's really, really cool. I guess I gotta get to my ratings now, don't I? Cheers, everybody. On the final sip, let's get ready to ratings. Decent lacing on the glass. I mean, after all, it is a bit of an IPA in here, so that's really, really cool. Zap. Sour IPA. Big sour note. Nice. Hoppy bitterness note of a traditional IPA, and then moving into those sweeter, sweeter notes of mango and 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 melons, melons and mango. It's a good time. It's a really good time. It was actually a stellar beer. I'm actually very surprised. I didn't know how this was going to go down. Which style of beer would dominate? The sour definitely dominates, but it does have a happy yet one second split of a weird kind of messiness. But it all just balances itself out. It's fantastically done. Great, great stuff. Zap. IPA. Sour IPA, sorry. Gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, Nickelbrook always does a damn good job. Great looking can. Great information, description, and then you have all your other information here. The brewer's elements. They just give you the, they give you the ingredients, but also giving you the list of the malt hops and yeast. I love that indeed. No dedicated ingredients list. But other than the malts, hops, and yeast, water kind of works. You know, we kind of need it. And on the bottom, right? Package, package on date on the bottom. Clearly labeled. I love it. Website, please put the beer on your main beer so, uh, beer tab thing on the website. I think that would just make everything a lot, lot better. But at least there is a bit of a description on the store page. But yeah, keep up to date, Nickelbrook. I think that would just, I think that just adds a little bit more, you know, professionalism, a little bit more refinement, a little bit more just good stuff and, and things to, 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 to the brewery. But with that said, presentation gets a solid, gets a solid 9 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video, subscribe or subscribe to me, Maple Bruce. You'll be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce. Like I always say, crack and enjoy. Cheers. Zap, zap, zap goes the nap gun. Goes the nap gun and zaps people to sleep so the aliens can't take over the world. Without...
killing, but to enslave the human race. Really hope that's not how it goes down, and it kind of goes down where America and the rest of the world kill all the aliens and they fuck off. But if worse comes to worse, have a have a beer. Cheers. <laughs>